Hello guys, so today I wanted to film a 10 things to know before coming to USD and so University of San Diego is the school that I go to um, but I also am down to make a 10 things to know before coming to college but I probably wouldn't make that until like July, August and people are actually starting to go to school. So yeah, let's get started. I made a list of 10 things on my phone so if I'm looking down that's why. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is Greek life. So at USD, um, when you rush for a sorority or frat, it's always in the spring semester, which is really nice because in the fall then you can get to know people and like make your own friend group. And then in the spring you rush and then you make new friends along with like your old friends. So I think it's good because it keeps things a little bit less clicky because you start off like everyone's on the same playing field I guess you could say and then when it comes time to rush in the spring then you know you already have your established groups and now you can meet new people um we have i want to say we have like six or seven sororities and like six frats um there are a fair amount of people that are in sororities and frats but i don't think it like like encompasses the entire school i personally am not in a sorority and most of my friends are not in sororities um, but like my roommate Katie, she's in a sorority and obviously we get along perfectly fine. I don't think it's like a huge thing here. Um, and like you don't, for girls at least, you don't need to be in a sorority like party and like go out and do stuff. Um, but I would say for guys like being in a frat, it does kind of matter when you want to get into parties because a lot of the times at frat parties they only let in their frat bros. Um, they don't just let in like random guys, so that's just something c to consider if you're a guy. But for girls, it's definitely easy if you're in a sorority or not. Um, okay. Number two, um, food. So, the food here, it's pretty good. Like, it's, it's really good. Um, we have one main dining hall, um, and that's open, like, for breakfast time, lunch time, and then dinner time, but it's closed, like, weird times in between that. Um, and you use, like, your meal swipes there, and, like, they, if you come to USD, like, they'll explain the whole system. I'm not going to explain it to you guys, because it doesn't matter. Um, but you have, like, meal swipes, and then you have dining dollars, and, like, dining dollars you can spend during, like, breakfast and lunch times, and then meal swipes are purely for dinner. Um, so there's, um, the SLP, Student Life Pavilion, which is our main dining hall. We also have this place called aromas which is like a coffee shop and they also sell avocado toast in there and different pastries and they sell like crepes and stuff like that um we also have this place called la paloma and i from like most hearing around like people's opinions they think like la paloma has the best food which i could pretty much agree with it's really good food um they serve breakfast all day and then you can also get noodles there like make your own noodle creation and then they sell salads like various salads and various sandwiches um and they also have like a little mini coffee shop off to the side in there the other place we have is Burt's Bistro and they have like burgers and burritos poke bowls bagels <laughs> smoothies I'm trying to like list all the things it's also really good Burt's and La Paloma are on the furthest part of campus um but they have really good food there that's pretty much like the main hub food places on campus which is like four places which does not sound like a lot but again like our campus is really small um we also have two mercado which is like a grocery store and you can also get sandwiches in there and like sometimes they have like hot food section and then obviously they sell like different groceries that you could buy food as well um and then we also have like um blue spoon which they sell smoothies there and then um, Mish Caf, which is, um, it's a cafe located in um, Missions, which is a, like a dorm section. Um, it's not exactly on main campus, it's kind of a little bit off campus. It's still like on campus, it's just like away from everything else. Um, and mainly like if you go there, you live down there. Like I wouldn't personally travel down there to get food. They sell a bunch of like, a bunch of fried food. 
um, smoothies there as well. You can get a smoothie pretty much anywhere on campus. Um, what else? They have like bagels, pastries. It's open until midnight, which is kind of nice because nothing else on campus other than the grocery store to Mercado is open until midnight. Okay, that was a long rant about food. Basically, the food is good and it's not really anything people complain about. Also about food, there's some food places like directly down the hill from campus. So campus sits on top of a large hill. Um, and then if you just drive down like two minutes, there's various food places at the bottom too. So if you do have a car and you're like, or if you want it to walk, it's kind of like a hefty walk because it's a hill. But um, it's literally right there. So if you wanted different options other than what we have on campus, there's also that available. Okay. Number three, the campus size. So USD has about 6,000 undergrad and I think 2,000 grads, so total about 8,000. Um, the campus itself does feel small. Like it's not like, you do run into different people every day, but you will see the same people at the same time. Um, which is really nice, I think personally, just like running into my friends or like, um, it's kind of hard to avoid people if you are really trying to do that. If you're one of those people that just kind of likes to blend into a crowd, I wouldn't recommend this school just because it is on the smaller side and you do run into people more often than you would if you were at a bigger school. Um, and starting at the very end of campus and walking all the way to the other end, it probably takes you about 15-20 minutes, so it's not a big school at all. It's still big enough where you meet new people, but it's still small enough for like, you know, you can always see people around, which is nice. Um, number four, housing. Um, so I'll just mainly focus on like freshman housing. So there are like five different places still on campus. So there's Missions A, Missions B, um, Saps, Founders, Camino, and Maher. So six different places. So Missions A and Missions B and Saps are all located in this area called Missions. Um, so Missions A is suite style. So there's three floors per building and on each floor there's eight people and then usually you just have like one roommate or if you wanted a single it is possible to get a single in Missions. And Missions A is where I lived. I personally recommend the dorm to anyone. It's really nice. Um, and it's kind of nice because it's a little bit away from campus, like main campus. So on the weekends it's nice because you just run into like your little group of people because everyone down there knows each other and recognizes each other which is really cool because it feels like a little community. And those dorms are really nice. Um, why are we focusing? Um, it's all like, they just redid them so they're the most updated dorms. So also like that's something to consider as well. Um, yeah, I just like recommend Missions A all around. Oh, also I forgot to mention, Missions A, you have, you share a bathroom with four people. So it's like four people share one bathroom and then the other four on your floor share another bathroom. So that's like pretty nice as well. In Missions B, it's more traditional, um, there's communal bathrooms, but like, the communal bathrooms are really nice, like, they clean them every day, um, and you're only sharing it with about maybe, I want to say like 30 people, which I feel like in a bigger school you share communal bathrooms with way more people, it might be even less than 30. I didn't live there, so I don't know, and Katie's not here right now, but it's honestly not bad at all, um. And I think there's like two or three bathrooms on each floor and um, all the floors um, in missions or in missions A and missions B are like single gender dorms. Like they're not co-ed. Like the building itself could be co-ed. There could be a boys floor, girls floor, boys floor, but um, each floor itself is not co-ed. Um, and then, yeah, so you could have, like, it's traditional, so you usually just have, like, one roommate. I think there might be singles in Missions B, but mostly just doubles, and Missions A and Missions B sit right next to each other, so they're all in that same little community. And then the third building that's in Missions, which is in that community, is SAPS, and I don't know too much about SAPS, but they changed it to a freshman dorm this year because there were a lot of fre way more freshmen than they expected um, but you have four people 
in every single room and so basically like you share one big room with four people but you also get a living room and a kitchen and then like a bathroom um which is really nice because it's really like apartment style which is you can't get that anywhere else on campus as a freshman so I do know a lot of people this year say they really like it because you get those extra perks that your friends wouldn't get um okay so the next dorm is Maher and if you guys watch my tour you, you'll see like all the names of these buildings um it's kind of hard to explain just like talking out loud like where exactly they are but if you watch my tour video shameless self promo um you will see where these buildings are so Maher sits basically directly in the middle of campus um a lot of people loved Maher um, my freshman year all the people that lived in it just like completely adored it I would definitely recommend Maher as well it's a very nice dorm um so you either live with three other people or you could have a double and there's like a few singles in Maher but mostly it's like quads and doubles there might be triples um but mostly quads like most people live with three other roommates um so it's just like one big room you have um it's like bunk bed style um so like you could be on bottom they on top they're on top like another person on the bottom another person on the top and then you have one big closet that you share and then a bathroom in your room so that's just all in like one big space um, and Maher is nice because there's classes at the bottom of it, so, and most people do end up having classes in Maher, so you could literally just roll out of bed and go to class, and it's really nice. Um, Maher is the only dorm that's co-ed, so like your neighbor could be a boy or a girl. The last two dorms are Founders and Camino, and they're also like on main campus along with Maher. Um, Founders is in all girls dorm and then Camino is an all boys dorm um, and they're actually getting renovated but I don't think they'll be renovated in time for um, this upcoming year but if someone's watching this video in the future they're probably already renovated um, but they're the oldest dorms on campus um, it's mostly I want to say like triples or quads and they also have like communal style bathrooms um, but Honestly, like, I wouldn't personally live in Founders or Camino because I like being around, like, different groups of people. Like, I like being around boys as well as girls. Um, but, I mean, they're, the buildings are, like, connected to each other. It's just very, like, separated on, like, girls on this side, guys on that side. Um, but I don't really know anyone personally that lived in Founders or Camino. Um, but I have heard that people like it. Cause it's like you're with all your bros like it's called like Camino bros and then founders it's just like all the girls and also founders and Camino have classes in them so that's also nice because you could just get up roll out of bed go to class go back upstairs go to sleep yes yeah, so that's all the dorms in campus the freshman dorms I'd recommend looking them up on our website and just seeing like um, the different they go into more detail about the dorms um, and I think they have some videos online showing the inside of the dorms so if you're curious about that, I'd look that up as well. So the fifth thing is, so I'm going to talk about like classes and just like attendance here, stuff like that. So at our school, since it is a smaller school, your class sizes tend to be around 25 to like 35 people. So kind of like high school, if you went to like an average, like a decent sized high school, that would be the average class size. Um, and I think personally for me that's really nice because I do like to talk in class and like raise my hand and talk to the teacher and it's a really great way to get to know your teachers because you are in a smaller class and the teachers here really do try to get to know you like they want to know about you and how they can help you and they don't want you to fail like I hope no teachers out there like that but especially here like I've never had a teacher that's like oh I don't care like what my student gets on the test or whatever like they're very um they're very helpful and they just want you to succeed um but like along with the succeeding part is attendance and I know for me um something that was really interesting is you hear about when you go to college it's like oh you can attend class if you want but if you can if you don't want to go it doesn't matter where here you can only miss two classes for most classes it's only you can only miss two classes 
um, and then your grade starts to go down, which we're, you're, you're going to college to get an education. You're not going to college to just mess around and do whatever. So I do think it's good and it helps you stay on top of your things. Um, and it's also like a way for you to succeed because when you do start to miss class, you know, you don't catch all the information and the test is way harder than you think it would be and all that stuff. Um, which I think is really nice and like really good. I know a lot of people would not be the fans of that, like not having the freedom to just skip whatever class they want. But I think education wise, it's a good thing. So another thing we have is office hours, which they offer at every school. but. Um, especially here, teachers do recommend you coming into their office hours, and it's a great way to get to know the teacher. And teachers here, in most classes, do know your name. Like, they'll know your face, they'll know your name, versus when you go to a bigger school and it's like a 700-person lecture hall, they're not going to recognize your face. You'd have to go into office hours, like, literally every day in order for them to even remember your name. I even know who you are. It's a great way for your teachers to get to know you and just for you to be more successful. So that's a perk, and I think the professors here are really good, and they're just very open to getting to know you, like, judgment-free. So, yeah. Number six, the demographics. Um, so I think a lot of people, when they do tour, I've heard this um, being a popular opinion, is they think our school is very, like, it's very much full of very rich kids, and everyone's really spoiled here, and it's very white, and... When I came here, um, just to start off, the school, I've never felt, like, extremely uncomfortable being here. Being, a, like, a woman of color, I've never felt, like, scared to walk through school or felt really uncomfortable or anything like that. Along with that, the school is very white. The, I don't know what the exact percentage is, but there's not a lot of students of color here. Um, which is something that if you do want to be surrounded by a lot of people of color, um, I just wouldn't recommend the school at all. Like, that's just my opinion. Like, I just don't think it's full of that. But at the same time, people are very accepting, very open to learning about you or about, like, your culture or anything like that. Um, when it comes to, um our like stereotype is like University of Spoiled Daughters. Um, yes, there is money at the school. You will see like so many nice cars around. People have a lot of designer stuff. But at the same time, there's a lot of people that don't have any of that. And I think that often like when people do tour the school, they don't see the other people. They just kind of see, oh, this person has a designer this, designer that. Um, but even people who do have a lot of money, they're very like, frugal with their money and they're not showing it off all the time, which is really nice. I mean, you'll get those people that are like, look at my Louis Vuitton bag and look at my Gucci belt and stuff like that. Um, but most people are not like that, which is a really good thing to have. It's good to be, I don't know the word for it, mindful of your money. These are like in really random orders, but um, scheduling. So we have kind of interesting scheduling I don't know um so we start school like after Labor Day and then we have the first break we have is fall break which happens around it's maybe like a week before um Halloween so it's like sometime in October and you just get a Friday off I don't know why it's called fall break but you have like one Friday off and then you just basically have the weekend, so it's like a three-day weekend instead of two-day weekend. Um, and that's pretty cool. I don't know why they call it fall break, because a day off is not a break. Like, <laughs> I need, like, a week to be considered a break. Um, and then the break after that is Thanksgiving break. Um, and that's just your average time. You get off on Wednesday, and it's like Wednesday to Sunday. You have that break, and then you start school again the next Monday. Um, and then the next break we have is winter break, and our winter break lasts from December 22nd-ish, so we do start, like, right up on the neck of Christmas, but then we, our winter break lasts until, like, January 27th, 
which yes you heard me right our break is like five weeks long um it's honestly pretty nice i know most people that love it um because you just be home and actually like be able to relax like you'll have christmas and then new year's and then you'll have like three weeks to basically just do nothing um which i really like personally um and i know some people will like get their jobs from back home and stuff like that so that's a really good thing um and then after that we have easter break and we basically get from like a wednesday to a monday off so it's like a a hefty break especially when you have both spring and Easter break it's kind of like spring semester you base it doesn't feel like you're in school because you have so many breaks happening and then we get out at towards like the end of May like the last day of finals this year is May 23rd um, which I think it's a decent amount of time like I think we're not getting out too early but not too late um, so I think that's a good thing so number eight I did mention before that USD is a Catholic school um and honestly like you take with you take it as you want to take it um personally i'm christian so i am more religious and it's nice that there are different outreach outreach programs here where i can go and focus on my religion and everything um but then a lot of my friends like most of my friend group are not religious and it's not like the school puts the pressure of Catholicism or Christianity onto you, which is really nice. Um, the perks of just having it be a Catholic school is like Easter break and stuff like that. Um, and like they really get into like Christmas and Easter here and like um, like God Christian centered holidays, um, which I think is cool because I already celebrate those things. Um, and you'll meet a fair amount of people who are religious, and then you'll meet people that aren't. So I think it, the idea of it being a Catholic school doesn't really, um, completely define your school. The other thing that you do have to do when you come here is take two theology courses, an upper division and a lower division, um, which is something that most schools don't have. Um, but because, again, we are a Catholic school, that is a requirement. But honestly, it's not bad at all. Like, once you're here, you just kind of get immersed in everything and you just realize okay gotta do that gotta do that and you're fine <laughs> nine is safety so i know a big concern that people have is like um feeling safe at your school and just being able to walk around um the school and not feel like uncomfortable or like walk back from the library super late and be worried and here it is like 99% safe. I've never ever felt unsafe here. Um, we have P-safe, which is like our public safety, and then we also have like another number that you can call. So like the at the very beginning of freshman year at orientation, they give you these numbers. So they'll give you like the P-safe number, there's like an emergency number, and then a non-emergency number. And um, you just have that like programmed into your phone. Like I'll show you guys. Um, they literally make everyone do this. So I have, it'll focus. So I have like USD campus emergency and USD non-campus emergency. Um, and for me sometimes when I'm studying at the library late, I'll call the USD non-camp, or the USD campus non-emergency number. And I'll just ask them, oh, can you give me a ride back to my dorm? Cause it's super late and like, you know, like, as a girl, you don't really want to walk back that late at night, um, because sometimes I'll stay there till, like, 1 or 2 a.m., um, but in a general sense, I go on runs at night around campus, um, and I've just never, ever felt unsafe. Like, it's always just, like, everyone's looking out for each other because we are a small school, um, and you'll be able to recognize if someone doesn't belong there, walk the other way, and you'll know, like, who belongs on campus and who doesn't which is a very, like, again, a really nice thing about going to small school, and they make sure it's really safe. There's always, like, our public safety parked at different <laughs> points on campus, so there's never that worry at all. Um, number 10, so, like, the last thing I wanted to talk about is just, like, being in San Diego itself, and, like, especially being at USD, it is honestly one of the most beautiful campuses. My brother goes to Pepperdine. It's like, Pepperdine is also very beautiful, as people do know. 
um, but I do think like our campus is a lot prettier looking and we also have the view along with Pepperdine so it's kind of like both parks in one um, and it's just every day I walk on campus and I'm like dang like I really do go here and it's just so beautiful and honestly like if you do end up coming here it's such a privilege to go here it's so nice and like when you're sending snaps or posting things on your story, people from back home are going to be like, wow, like, that's your school? Like, that looks like a vacation. And you're like, yeah, I know. Like, it's whatever. Um, and just being in San Diego in general, I'm from Chicago, so this is a big switch for me. Um, but I absolutely love it out here. The weather is, like, the most consistent weather. It's always so nice. Like, you don't need super-duper warm clothes. Just throw on, like, a little jacket and you'll be fine all year. Um, and just the vibes out here are really good. Like, San Diego is a very chill city in California. Um, if you, like, think of California, if you're not from California and you think of, when you do think of California, you think of L.A. and, that, like, that whole vibe, it's very different than San Diego. It's, like, people are much more chill. It's, like, a lot of older people in San Diego. And, I don't know, I just really like it. So, I really hope that um, you guys want to apply and come here. It's a really great school. We're ranked really well academically. I sound like a sponsor for the school. I swear I, I'm not a sponsor. I just like talking about my school. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy it, and if you guys have any questions or want me to make a video on anything, just leave comments down below, and I'll make sure to answer them. Okay, bye guys! <laughs>